Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learnity Profession. Today we will learn how to install and can configure Active Directory Certificate Service on Windows Server 2012 or 2. Uh, you can uh, use the same steps on latest Windows Server as well, that is Windows Server 2016, Windows Server 2019 and Windows Server 2022 as well. So start. Uh, but uh, before the start, I tell you uh, if you want to uh, learn what is Active Directory Certificate Service is and how uh, you can configure and install Active Directory Certificate Service if you want to read, uh, you, you can read on my article that is uh, how to install and configure Active Directory Certificate Service on Windows Server 2004. Actually, Active Directory Certificate Service is used to secure the applications and uh, if you want to read complete detail about active directory certificate service is yes, and what are the certificate authority and certificate authority web environment uh, so here i write uh, about uh, something related to it so please read it uh, you must understand uh, you understand what it is okay start uh, uh, how to install and configure active directory certificate service on windows server 2012 r2 first click on add roles and features then click next this is our role so click on role based or feature based installation click next uh, this is only a single server because this is this is the server uh, active ID and dns you can say uh, and in this server i have installed an exchange also on the same server i am installing a certificate server but you can install this service active directory certificate service on a different server as well for in, in your organization for enterprise setter follow these steps means you are active directory uh, active directory domain services on a separate server with dns and a separate server for exchange and separate server for certificate authority so click next for the installation of active directory certificate service click on it click on add features and click next on the feature set you don't need to add any features for active directory certificate service okay click next uh, if you want to read what is active directory certificate is you can also read it from here click next uh, here i'm installing active directory certificate authority actually active directory certificate authority uh, provide a digital certificate uh, with a combination of public and private key so uh, i've already written on here if you see what is the authority here please Active Directory Certificate Service Certificate Authority is a role service to bind cryptographic key pairs, public and private key with digital certificate. In other words, you can say a certificate authority is used to store, sign, and issue a digital certificate. So you can read it from here and understand it. Continue. Here I am installing a certificate authority web environment as well. Actually, uh, certificate authority web enrollment uh, is used when you uh, want to provide uh, provide a certificate to your uh, environment application, or you can say uh, the application uh, on your Linux server as well. On Linux server, you create you need to create a CSR, then uh, put the CSR CSR on the uh, certificate authority web enrollment, and you can. Uh, received a certificate from it and you can secure the certificate in your environment in your organization because uh, you know that uh, active directory domain service is a centralized environment and in your centralized environment uh, uh, with single sign on uh, you secure your applications uh, and your services as well you need a certificate so microsoft active directory certificate service provides this uh, you can secure your linux server application as well with your windows application okay this is certificate authority and sec second one is certificate authority web environment click next click on restart just click yes and then click on start okay great uh, the active directory certificate service on windows server 2000 12 r2 has been successfully installed now you need to configure it click on configure active directory certificate service on the destination server. Uh, 
uh, it is required a uh, uh, credential uh, the credential administrator already selected so just uh, if you want to change it if you want to uh, install this active configure this active directory certificate service and another administrator uh, are you use uh, another service account like given administrative rights you can do it but i am using here administrator to use uh, to install uh, this role service uh, you can see to configure it for the enterprise certificate authority and uh, web enrollment service as well so uh, here i am using administrator so click next uh, you, here i am uh, already uh, select during the installation certificate authority and uh, certificate authority web enrollment so for the configuration required so i select uh, certificate authority as well again and certificate authority web enrollment you need you see that uh, another uh, services is not uh, available for the configuration so because i am not selected on during the installation so it is height click next to continue this is the first uh, survey authority in an environment and uh, for enterprise CA uh, it is a must be a domain member uh, actually the certificate authority on the same server or activated domain services I already tell you that you can uh, place the certificate authority in as a member server of the domain service as well so this is the certificate authority in a uh, member server you can say but this is on the activated domain services uh, system so doesn't matter this is the same as a member server and uh, if you install and config on the for the demo purpose on the same server but you need uh, but you uh, best thing is that you need to, uh, and, uh, to install and configure activity certificate service on the separate servers okay uh, so this is enterprise ca not standalone ca standalone means means that you are uh, certificate authority on not as a member of the uh, domain services here, or here you see standard CA can be a member or a workflow okay means you can uh, put your server on a uh, member server activated to domain service or as a workflow but uh, I am uh, selecting only as enterprise CA and enterprise CA must be a domain member and are typically online to issue certificate and certificate policies click next to continue this is the root CA root CA is the first uh, certificate authority which is the top level or to provide the certificate you can see. click next this is the first server you need to create a private key here uh, 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 already selected create a new private key use this option if you do not have a private key or you uh, want to create a new private key select it otherwise if you have a private key you have already created the service already you need this option so here i am creating a uh, first and you can see a new uh, survey authority so i select uh, create a new private key click next to continue this is a cryptography provider this rsa ravis shamir edelman if you want to change it you can uh, change it from here okay and key length is 204 uh, that is already selected uh, for hash algorithm for signing are issued by the CF I am selecting SHA-256 SHA-256 is more secure than SHA-1 because SHA-1 is obsolete now and it has some vulnerabilities issues so for hash algorithm I am selecting SHA-256 you can select SHA-384 and SHA-512 as well and uh, multiple uh, MD5 is already available MD5 means message digest uh, if you want to read about the SHA and MD5 are MD related message digest related uh, definitions and what are what is it, what uh, what is the definition of SHA and MD5 you must read my article okay. click next it what is saying all our admission interaction when the priority is accessed by this You don't need to select uh, this check in the priority. Just click next. Okay. Uh, if you want to change the common name for this year, you can change it. 
and it's acting just like uh, Pakistan see just like that so this is a common you can change it so to type a common identifier this survey authority means it is a uh, to identify the survey authority uh, you can provide your uh, your design name as well but you uh, but don't need to change the distinguished surface name because this is a domain controller pakistan local and preview or this this is the total name of the like common name as well our distinguished name okay click next to continue uh, for a validity period you can change the validity period if you uh, provide more security for your certificate you can select one if you want uh, like if you don't want to change your your certificate not expire for your certificate authority as well you can provide uh, multiple layers uh, of uh, you can extend that validity period, validity period as well okay here i'm select uh, our default validity period that is five the certificate will expire 2028 just click next to continue this is the certificate database location and certificate database log location if you want to change it you can change it i am leaving default just click next to continue then it click on configure just uh, review this configuration for certificate authority and uh, uh, for certificate authority webinar there is not uh, configuration showing so just click configure now it is configuring uh, active directory certificate service for certificate authority and certificate authority have an open right let's configure click close then click, click close the installation with the well. okay to check the certificate authority just click on it certificate authority with the name pakistan dash ca and uh, this is a certificate templates uh, it's, uh, i'm showing you a uh, certificate authority web environment how it is work type h t d p s one power slash local host Search SRV. Click on put this website not recommended. Okay. Okay. If you want to create a certificate from it, just click on request certificate. Then click on advanced certificate request. Then click on uh, create a submit a, a request for to this you know uh, submit certificate request by using base 64 and coded CMS and PKCS 10 H5 submit and request. Okay. Click on here. Yes. Uh, here you need uh, you provide a CSR and you create a certificate for web server as well to secure the certificate uh, your, your to secure your web application uh, for linux system as well if your application is on the linux system uh, that uh, application rely on the uh, using a php and uh, others like uh, uh, your Linux system uses different languages, and you pro create a CSR for your Linux systems and Linux based application. You provide just CSR here, and then you create a certificate by just click on submit. I am not providing any information here, but I provide your demo for this uh, uh, security your secure your web application. So you can use this to secure your certificate. And your certificate authority is Pakistan. That's CA. Your process, uh, certificate authority name will be different. You can use. Thank you so much. If you like my video, please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, provide your comments uh, to provide uh, more videos related to it. So I will provide you related to certificate authority, uh, more videos related to certificate authority as well, and 
like uh, you if you want if you have a, a viewers of my website you can check it I provide you a uh, multiple videos on Linux and uh, Windows as well you can give me a suggestion as well thank you so much please like and comment on videos and subscribe our channel learn IT profession for receive new videos notifications